Hi, this is Kalei with Kalei's Customs Creations, and I have a Facebook group called The Peachy Pig. You can also find me on Instagram under The Peachy Pig. Today I'm going to talk about a technique that I discovered by accident, and I can create a weathered look using this technique. I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, now we're going to talk about techniques, something that it, I do, I don't know of anybody else doing it, and this happened by accident. <laughs> so I'm going to take, I had painted this with Farm Fresh, and now I'm going to take old school, some water. Water it down real good. The pigment is really strong, so it's in there. You don't have to worry about it. So here's how my accident happened. So I stir it up. I take a brush and I would dip it on here and it's all messy and I brush it on and I would wipe it off with a paper towel, go through all these steps. Well, an entire thing of this spilt all over one time. So I was mad, didn't know what to do. Well, hey, got to keep painting, got to get this thing done, you know, just like this piece, that piece had to be done. So once you get it on here, you get a paper towel. It's not hard. It's very easy. Get a paper towel. Dunk it in here. I suggest buying the good ones or using an old t-shirt. Wring it out real good. Just let that mess get all over. Wring it out. You might want to wear gloves. I don't because it's a clay-based paint. It's all natural. So I just wash it off. Anyways, take it. I literally take it and I just rub it. And I try, I do my best to stay with the same motion, but honestly, sometimes when you're just rubbing stuff, you just forget, you just... So it starts to get a little dry. I just grab some more, wring it out real good. And it's okay if it's starting to dry because we're gonna spray it. Now put this down real good. So I rub it all on here like this. And really a lot of the times you get all your color on here, but sometimes the magic can happen with the wax. As you start developing your painting skills and doing more and more, you start really liking your waxes. So now I'm just gonna take a dry paper towel and wipe it back as best I can. Gonna spray it with some water, reactivate that top layer. And actually, this ends up saving a lot of the paint. You're not wasting as much paint that you know you're normally wiping back. And then if you wipe it back and you're like, ah, I'm not quite feeling it, grab a baby wipe, take that wipey, wipe it up, and it'll pull even more of the paint off. But this is going to give us that weathered wood look. And you can see where I waxed. It looks a little different. The color is different. And it's pulling up some of the underpaint, so I'm getting some of the wood to show through, so that looks nice. And it's done. That's it. The next thing will be all about the finish. But this is my own personal technique. I guess we can call it paper towelin. But it works really well. You use less paint, wipes right off. It does get a little messy on the hands, but that's okay. <laughs>